Well, hello everyone, my name is Michael, and I am coming to you from The Mix is Almost Perfect. This is going to be a new line of different um, audiovisual. Um, big thing is, I want to start doing one of these once a day. Um, as you know, in this crazy society and crazy different things that are going on in this world, I have a lot more time on my hand. And I would like to do what I love. And I want to be able to start with this. I want to do some small clips, um, small different um, audiovisual um, video and sound. Um, I'm going to be starting off with, uh, I suppose, uh, the first segment of audio. Well, let's start talking about it. A um, couple things I want to. Uh, talk to you guys about um, so I can introduce myself uh, my name is Michael Masura I am uh, a uh, started off as an audio engineer and worked my way up uh, doing audio visual um, I love the industry I love technology uh, a couple things that I really enjoy is I love karaoke um, I've been singing since I was a little kid um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I would say other things that I enjoy. Hmm. I love Monopoly. And uh, believe it or not, Cards Against Humanities. I have every card that they've ever made. Um, it's pretty awesome. Anywho, let's get, uh, let's get on to this. Um, so, pretty much uh, what I'd like to talk today about is... Um, well, I guess what I've been doing recently, um, I do uh, audiovisual for um, a company, uh, and we are one of the most boutique, um, highly recommended companies uh, in the industry. Um, right now, as you know, the coronavirus has uh, put our whole industry, trade shows and all, <laughs> um, in kind of a moment of silence you could say and a couple things that I would love to talk about is well let's talk about a couple pieces of gear that I really adore and uh, one of them would have to be well to be honest with you uh, the soundboards uh, one of the soundboards that I really really am not a huge fan of and it is a board that we use. I think it's a very clunky board. Um, it's called the Allen & Heath uh, QU16. They also make the uh, QU32. Um, a couple of the things that I'm not a fan of, especially with the digital boards. Uh, nowadays, most digital boards that I have seen are pretty... I think they've figured it out. And, I, and I, I'm not going to say everything in the Allen & Heath QU series is bad. I think there needs to be an update on their software. I think one thing that is difficult about it um, is some of the workflow. Now, when it comes down to EQing different things on the board, it's limited. Now, I know it's not as expensive or it's very close to the X32, but I think you get more bored out of the X32 the QU16, it seems to be that when you're copying out channels, it's almost clunky about it. Like, you have to go back to go back. And I know, like, the X32 doesn't really have the um, touchscreen board, and this one does. So that is a thing that people like about it. It's just one thing that I'm not a fan of. Um, the other thing that the uh, the QU16, I guess it's like an advantage and a disadvantage depending on what model you have. Um, with the QU16, um, you get a little less than let's say the QU24 uh, or the QU32. Um, now, one of the big disadvantages about the QU16, if you're going to go for it, just go for the 24 or the the 32 you don't really get um, groups um, in the 16 and you don't really get 
um, you don't get the um, the DCAs. And for me, as an engineer, I feel like stem mixing is a huge advantage. With the QU16, it does not have that. Now, um, when it comes down to the parametric EQ, I think it does a well job um, turning on the gates, compressors, very simple, um, panning, very simple, uh, geometric EQing, um, high pass filter, pre uh, preamp, and then uh, it does have a really nice uh, preamp uh, USB um, internal turn on. So pretty much um, you on any channel you're on, you can go right up in the one corner, right next to the, uh, the preamp, and then you can just push uh, for USB. So essentially you are, uh, you can do like pre-record immediately. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, I know that this board, like all digital boards uh, that are in this level, um, they have some kind of custom page, which is really nice with um, um, the faders. Uh, I know the, um, when you're in layers, um, you can make a custom page. Uh, but for me, learning pretty much on a Yamaha CL3, obviously, it's a way higher level board than uh, the QU series in Allen Heath. But especially the X32, which... As I said, I think it has just become an industry standard. Um, I think Alan Heath does a great job on their analog boards, and I think they're almost there. And I know some of their level up boards are like way, way better, but like, you know, with the QU series, um, it almost feels like. Like this board, especially with the QU16, it's the same size pretty much as um, those small uh, Mackie boards, those 16 by fours. Um, it feels like it has some of that. I feel like when you're in the compressor section, um, in like the master, you know, the, the master settings, um, and you're going, let's say, for left and right, or some some mix that you're going on, and you're going into the, uh, the master uh, geometric, uh, geographic uh, EQ, and uh, I feel like it would be a lot better to have some type of better limiting system, uh, maybe multi-compression, um, something of that nature. I know the way that this board operates, it just... It doesn't feel 100% digital to me, which I know not every digital board nowadays is as digital as it you know it is. They want you want the touch and feel, but it just feels like the way that you have to navigate through the board. It, it almost feels to me, and maybe this is just a feel that I like more complex. It just feels almost too simple. Too there's not enough options for me. Um, as an engineer um, though as I said they, they do have a very simple platform so I, I suppose um, I just to me it just feels limited so anywho if anybody would like to um, I'd love to talk more if you guys have any questions as I said this is my first um, uh, podcast um, I'm going to do some videos as well um, feel free to go to the mix is almost perfect.com. That's where I'm going to be posting. Um, or you, you know, you can always, uh, email me, um, at, uh, Michael M I C H A E L Masura M A S S U R A at gmail.com. So that's Michael Masura at gmail.com. Um, at the mix is almost perfect as I said I'm gonna try to make uh, a new video every day um, they're gonna get better as I said I'm trying something that I've wanted to do for quite some time um, I'm gonna try to review a little bit 
um, I am going to try to get people on, um, maybe do some video chats. As I said, uh, the, the idea is to, I want to do a lot of audio, but I also want to open this up to audio visual. I feel like there's so much to talk about, especially in, in this, um, this industry, especially, um, with lighting and how audio has gone, um, even uh, videography um, and uh, projections, um, even unions. You know, I think it would be great to talk to some union guys and uh, really get their perspective on the industry as well. I'm I'm very for union, and uh, you know, sometimes uh, you know you need both, and I think. I think this is going to be my first uh, video, and I'm hoping you guys all like it, so please uh, feel free to comment. I'm going to put this on all the platforms that I have, um, and uh, as I said, the mix is almostperfect.com. That is my blog, and uh, we will see where this goes. Thank you again, guys. Bye.